to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time viewing Anchor Life 5. This is Christy here and I wanted to share with you all today a few more of the traveler's notebooks or traveler's journals that I've been making. Um, I had said in a previous video that I was thinking about opening up my own Etsy shop and I'm just not quite sure yet. So if you have any comments um, about that, please go ahead and put them down below. I would love to hear some feedback if you have any suggestions on different things I could do or if you're like, hey, I'd buy one of those. I'd love to hear that also. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Anchor Live 5, and let's get to them. The first one I want to share with you all is kind of inspired with a carnival theme. Um, I got this paper, the paper pack from Tuesday morning and also all of the embellishments and die cuts that you're going to see throughout were from a pack from Tuesday morning from a kit. Um, I cannot remember what the kit is named but that's where I got it from. To start out, it had this cute little pinwheel and what I did was I just added some washi to it because it was kind of sharp. And then I just stuck it in one of the little sides here. And then it had these really cute little origami style um, paper stars. And so I added those also like a cute little tassel on the outside. Um, really cute little wooden buttons, the question mark, a cute little lacy style and exclamation point. I thought those kind of blended in and then I used some dark orange elastic. The front here and the back is kind of an orange um, and white sequence chevron pattern and then this really cute die cut. It's, um, it's really really thick and it says good stuff on it. Here is the front here. I added a cute little pocket. And there's some playing cards that came in the kit, magical mustache, and these really cute, if I can get them out here, little die cut circles there. Okay, this is the first pocket, and it's got, um, it's kind of gold, looks like gold, maybe dark orange, gold, polka dots on white. I added some strips of coordinating paper with some washi, and this is like the little man at the, the carnival. Come on in, blah, 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 blah. That's him right there. And the inside, I just added some little ticket stamps, really cute. Um, just different kind of, of papers that I added in there. There's the back of that one, kind of matches the front of it. The second one, um, this was really, really hard to use. Um, I'm not sure what kind of, of paper it is, but it was it was hard to use. I did some more little die cuts, some coordinating paper from this one, and some washi to tie it in. There's the back. Once again, just random sheets of paper in there. This is the third one. I made this really cute little flag banner. Um, there's the gold washi again and the coordinating papers that I used throughout. Um, inside of here, this is the same paper that I used for the pocket and some more little cute die cut embellishments right there. Same coordinating paper throughout the other folders. And there's the back of that one. And here is the back of the inside of the cover. And once again, just two little playing cards to make it all kind of blend in and coordinate with each other. So this one's kind of like a carnival themed um, traveler's notebook there's that one and then this one I really really love this is my first time making any sort of tassels and all I did was I gathered up some different ribbons that I already had um, and just bunched them up together and then right here these came in a kit also from Tuesday morning and I just bound them to the side right here. Instead of using elastic on this one, um, once again, the, this paper kit and all the embellishment kits came from Tuesday morning. Um, this one had this really, really gorgeous velvet black ribbon. 
and I just hot glued it to the side right here and that is how you enclose it these cute little paper clips these little embellishments came with the kit um, this is the front this was super super hard to, to use also just like another pack in that one um, it's kind of like a foam cork kind of paper it looks really cool and it feels really cool but it was super hard to bend um, and what I did to make it double sided was I just added this gold paper um, to it once again I made a pocket and added some extra die cuts this is um, it's got this really cute little binder clip right here that came in um, in the kit let me go ahead and take that off the first pocket is yellow and it has these cute little ticket die cuts um, this one I think the the die cut and embellishment packet was called our story so there's the first one um, throughout this one I used white cardstock graph paper um, I believe there's some notebook paper in here and some black lined paper and there's the back this is the second folder this one was super hard to use also it was super hard to fold so I added some washi here on the side because it kind of um, tore a little bit so that that's how I fixed that um, just some scrap paper that I had and once again the cardstock the notebook paper the graph paper and the black lined paper so you can this is what um, the backside looks and it was really really hard to use so there we go and this is a little folder pocket that I made where people can just stick whatever they want to in it um, just two pieces of cardstock held together with some washi with some cute embellishments once again another really cute binder clip it says our story on it um, polka dot yellow polka dots you can see in there mail and notes so I thought that was really cute um, same kind of paper throughout and then on the back I added another little corner pocket right there with some other embellishments and then there's the back side of that one and then to close it you just this ribbon was just gorgeous you just take the ribbon and tie a little knot there on the side and there we go so there we go guys these are the two new travelers notebooks or travelers journals that I have um, made here recently like I said I would love to hear your comments um, I am thinking about opening up my own Etsy shop and selling these so um, yeah go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, thanks for watching until next time guys see you later bye Thank you.